Welcome back guys. So in this video, we will check how we can change the symbology and what is the options to change the symbology of our layer or any other layer. So for example, this one, we have a point features. So we can come here and click on the change symbology for this layer. And we will see that we have some options here. Here, the first option is asking you, do you want to show your symbology based on attribute? So let's say, for example, we want to show different symbology for every single day of the week for this incidence right here. So here I will choose day of the week. And this is the only one I will choose. So as you see here, the map it changed and the colors of the features changed. And here you have the legend for this symbology. If you want to change the colors, the order, the size, or even the shape of this colors that have been created for you, you have to go to types, unique symbols, and say options. So here's the first option to reorder uh, this legend, what date you want to show. And here, when you click on the symbol, you will have a window open here so you can change the color. You can change the transparency or you can change the shape by going to the shape option right here and say I want to show the Saturday one as a green diamond and then you may set the size to 10 and say OK and it changed it on the map but it's still small so I can make it bigger let's say for example 25 say OK and now you will see that it changed it so you can change all this features right here you can change the symbology for any one of them and you can change the order the other option you have here is to change the outline if you want to add an outline for this point you can change it from here so I can say I wanted outline of this specific feature to be red and the outline will be 3 and change the size of this point to be 20 and let's make the outline 5 say OK you will see that our points to change it to be a blue circle large and have an outline of red. So you can customize your layer symbology however you want using these options right here. So let's return it back to 10, say OK. And here it shows you the count for each feature that have this symbology and this label. And here you have a symbol where you can change the symbology for all of them at once. So for example, I can select here and say OK. And here the symbology change it to a diamond for all of the categories. So using the symbols from here, you can do any changes and that will apply to all of them. And this is a good way to, for example, let's say you want to change all the symbology for all of them to be a diamond with a certain size. So let's say I want all of them to be diamond. I don't want any outline. So cancel any outline, no outline. And to be a diamond and the size will be 15. And I say OK. So now I can just come here and change for each one of them the color only. And that's all what I need to do. So I'm going to change this to red and say OK. I'm going to change this Friday to yellow and say OK. Change Sunday to green and say OK. And you can do that for all of them. So if you have a lot of symbols or a lot of categories and you want to change all of them at once, make sure to change it from here and then you customize it more from each one of them right here and then after that you have the option to rotate your symbols so for example if we zoom here a little bit and we enable the rotation so here you can choose a field to be your value for the rotation or you can say I want to add my own value and you can use a new expression and here this is the window to do the custom expression but we have a separate video for how can you use this individually but for now I want to show you that you can just come here and say I want my rotation to be 25 degrees just enter 25 and you say OK and you will see that your symbols have shifted and rotated 25 degrees so that's how you can make the rotation using an attribute for example if you have a tracking information or GPS data for some of the vehicles and this GPS sending you the heading for this vehicle, which direction it's moving. Is it moving to the north or moving to the south or east? So you have a value for the direction based on the degree. So you can use this as a rotation attribute for your symbol rotation. So it depends on what data you have and what kind of information you have with this data. You can define the rotation symbol to be a custom expression or to use a certain field. Same thing for the transparency. You can customize the transparency here for the symbols to apply to all the symbols, or you can use an attribute to change the transparency for these features. 
So for example, let's say we have here the auto theft data that happens and we have the date when it happens. How about if we think about, let's make the older ones that happened long time ago uh, more transparent and the new ones more visible and not transparent. So what we can do right now is we can change the transparency for each feature based on the date it happened. So we can come here and say attribute values and here I will choose the date. And as you see here, it shows me the range where this incident happens. So we have the oldest one happened in December 2016 and the latest one happened in October 2017. So we can just change it like this. So anything old will be transparent and anything new will be very visible. And you can show the transparency in the legend by checking this one. You can change the value for the highest one and that means anything new will be non-transparent and anything old the maximum will be 70% transparent because of course you don't want to make it 100%. And when I click here OK, you will see that right now we have transparency for some features and some features doesn't have any transparency and that's using the date and that give us a really easy way to look at the map and see if anything is transparent that means it happens long time ago or if it's not transparent that means it happened lately and here it shows you the transparency values based on the date and the last option we have here to change for the sympology is the visible range. You can change the visibility for this layer exactly like you do for any other layer. You change the minimum and maximum scale using this scale right here. So now always remember after you make your changes, make sure you click OK and you click done. Because if you didn't do that, sometimes you see your changes on the map. You have the idea that it, it take effect and it's saved. Actually, it's not. You have to click OK and you have to click done. And then after you finish, you have to come here and say save. So all the changes will be saved for you. And keep in mind that every single layer have a different way to show the sympology. So let's see what options we have with each layer when we change the sympology based on attributes. So for example, if we go to the state one and we zoom to the state layer, you will see the entire states of the United States. And then we can make the transparency more so we can see the layer and here we go and uh, now let's go to the sympology and let's try the other options we have here so the first thing you need to do is to go and change the attribute so if I go and let's say I will change the attribute based on the population of 2010 you will see that you will have so many different options to show your population the first option here as selected one it shows the counts and amounts based on the size so every single state right now show as a circle and the bigger circle means that it have larger population and here you can select to make it based on a color so when I select this you will see that the colors that change it based on the value and of course when we click options you will have the ability to change the colors for your symbols or you can also change the range from here you can change the sympology you can define divide the values by what other value or you can have your theme change it between high to low or above and below or centered on and every single option here will give you a different view for your map so try to play with these options but just make sure that in order to see these options you need to make your sympology based on a certain attribute so if I removed this one I said none it will show only based on location and that is the default one in order to see all the other options you need to select a certain attributes so that is for the polygon same thing for the points same thing for the lines so for example if we go to this layer right here and I zoom to the Texas addresses and I open the sympology you will see that I have an option here to create a heat map and a heat map will show me the density of the points in a certain location compared to other locations so let's hide our state layer and go back here and do the sympology and once I select the heat map you will see that now it shows me the heated area or the areas that have a lot of points and a lot of density in this area and the other areas doesn't have as much as here and of course you can go and open the options so you can change the colors of the heat map you can change the density so if I change it right here you will see that it will change on the map 
and you can change the area of influence or the density from here you can change the transparency of your heat map you can change the visible range and set the minimum and maximum scale from here as well so that's the options we have for the points for the lines symbology we don't have a line layer right here so we will add one by go and add from file we will go to our course data folder and we will choose California and we will add our freeways so we'll say OK add this layer and before we change the symbology make sure to go to the details and use this one and go to save layer so we can save it to our content as freeway layer and the summary freeway and we will create the item right here and right now we will have the freeway as a feature layer and it will show up in our content so you can use it anytime you want here you go so let's go back here and open the symbology and here once you change the symbology using any attribute so let's change the symbology based on the name of the freeway so let's use a freeway name and again you will see that you have a lot of different options here uh, here you have the option to change the color based on the name and as you see here that's a good way to view our freeways in different colors and here is the name for the freeway and what color it represent to make it more visible let's hide our transportation layer from here and go back here again and we can go to the options and we can change the size for all of them to be for example like three points say OK and you will see that it became more thick for all of them or let's make it five and you will see that now it became more thicker than before and here you can change the color for any uh, specific freeway as you want when I click OK and I say done and now I applied my changes make sure to save your map and that's how you change the symbology for the points for the lines for the polygon or how you can change the symbology using attributes so that's it for the symbology for ArcGIS online and I hope you know now how can you change your map colors you change your symbols and you can make your map look however you want and of course if you have any questions please let me know so thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video